Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So I really want to talk today about the transformation that both twins go through and the deep transformation. You see, we often think about transformation in, in the spiritual sense and a lot of the time it's from the aspect of the astral, of what we can see and feel and connect in with. But this journey, this journey is a formless journey. This journey will activate you and break you open over and over again. Ego, death and dark night of the soul breaks apart each one of your bodies, i.e. the physical body starts to go through rapid changes. The emotional body releases and starts to bring up emotions which we normally call oscillations that you didn't even know that you possessed. The mind, well, the mind is so activated. And most people will say to me, Kat, I don't react like this. Kat, you know, I run businesses or I have, you know, an incredible job or I'm a mom or my dad. This is not how I act. And there is so much confusion, so much mental confusion of what is happening and what, you know, you are going through divine feminine. And when I talk about divine feminine, remember, I'm talking about the energetic frequency here, not about how you identify in the physical. The divine feminine is going through rapid, rapid transformation. And so that's why it can feel confusing. That's why the mind is so activated. That's why the physical body is going through rapid changes. That's why the big emotions are rising within you. So you can dissipate out all those lower vibrations that you've maybe held on to. Now, your work, Divine Feminine, is very conscious. Where Divine Masculine, of course, he's you. At soul level, you are one. They are going through the same transformations, but they deal with it in a very different way. You will not see it with the physical eyes. They are still going through the Kundalini activation. They are still going through a heart chakra activation. They are still going through the transformation, but it is dealt with very differently. Remember, you are the spiritual twin. They respond to your frequency, to your energy. So yes, both bodies go through it, but you, Divine Feminine, you lead this. And so as you are shifting through this, as you are moving through this, you can feel such loss, you can feel such, uh, such um, deep transformational work. You will start to understand things that you never knew were even possible to understand. You are giving the keys to the universe. You see, this journey, Divine Feminine, is about you reclaiming your power. The reason why that Kundalini is activated is because everything in your world has got to go through transformation. Each of the chakras, the base and root chakra, which is your safety and security, you are now activated in. So if you never felt emotionally held, emotionally secure as a child, this will show up now. If you've not been living your true purpose here on earth and what you're meant to be doing, it will show up. It will show you. Your work will start to feel hard, start to feel, you will question yourself. If you are not dealing with your emotions in the solar plexus, the should have, could have, would have, all that emotion will rise within you and you will be questioning if you are enough. You will be crying and connecting so deeply with those big emotions. As that heart chakra activates, that is about you starting to find the deepest love for self. And at first, you will just want to project that love onto your other self. 
because they activated you in a, in a way that made you feel so whole and complete. But really, they are you, you are them, you are one. And I want to stress here, you are not two halves coming into one. The soul is formless. But how it mirrors to you, how it shows to you, is that you believe when you are with them that everything that you have needed, required, they complete you. But the journey, the journey, once soul recognition happens, is about you reclaiming that power back and knowing that you are unshakable. You are unshakable at every single level of your chakras. Once the Kundalini, once Shakti Ma reaches that throat chakra, it is about you speaking to yourself in your authentic truth. You being honest with yourself. You being able to self-master your emotions. You being able to stand in your power, reclaim your power, shine your light and do what you came here to align with. You see... This path is about you awakening to your truth, you standing in your truth, because you, Divine Feminine, are here with the new templating. What I really want to stress here is for many, many, many centuries, women were lost. The Divine Feminine had lost her power. She reclaimed it and I want to say round about sort of the 70s, 80s, 90s, she reclaimed that power. But what she did, she went into the wounded aspect of the masculine and reclaimed the aspect of the wounded aspects of the masculine. Instead of realizing that she can be in flow, she can be in beauty, she can be fully surrendered but incredibly powerful. You see, you, Divine Feminine, are here to reset the templates of the Divine Feminine, for her to reclaim her power, to know that that third eye, once it is activated, you trust, you surrender every single day. And that does not mean that you give up. It means that you surrender into the flow of your feminine and masculine because in the third eye is where Shiva and Shakti become one. And once they come into that merging full frequency of oneness, they are able to move into the crown chakra. They are able to activate the oneness of all, the oneness of divine frequency. Divine Feminine, you are activated onto this journey, not by chance, because you came here at this incredible time on earth to change the templating, to find the deepest self-love, to know who you are at the core, to believe, to know and know that every single day is a day of surrender, to reclaim your power and start to shine your light. If you are ready to reclaim this power, if you are ready to start to work with a beautiful band of women that know that they are the divine feminines and they are ready to stand in their power, to stand in their light and want to work on themselves every single month, then come along and join Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is my brand new baby. It is gu guided divinely by that Divine Feminine template. It's for the game changers. It's for the way showers. It's for women all over the globe that are ready to be in that flow, but also to reclaim their power, to know that they are here as that bridge between the old world and the new world. And the new world is the vibration of love, is the vibration of the feminine reclaiming her power. And guess what? As divine feminine reclaims her power, it also gives divine masculine the presence to rise into his masculine energy, to know that he no longer needs to operate out of the wounded aspect that he can stand in his sovereignty. If you are ready, my website is there. 
my brand new Divine Feminine membership is there every single month where I help and support you. We work with goddess energy. We work with inner healing. This month is all about womb um, healing, why our wombs can hold energetic imprints from past relationships, how to cleanse it, how to release it, how to work with the goddess energy, how to work with the moon templates, how to work with the activations and the light frequency that we are receiving at the moment. It's powerful. It's life-changing. I look forward to you joining me there. Click down in the description. All the details are there. Much love, many blessings.